Welcome back, Rankers. Australia's got a government, for the moment anyway. Uh, I was talking to Matt Cutts of uh, Google fame yesterday afternoon. Uh, in case you don't know who Matt Cutts is, then you've probably only just got involved in the SEO industry. He's the guy that we all listen to at Google. Um, and we were seeing some strange things happening in Webmaster Tools, and I'll show you what they were, since you asked. Basically, under the um, site performance, where it shows you the graph of how Google is seeing your site, page load times, all those sorts of things. And really you need to be seeing this going down like that, not going up like this one was here. Uh, and these uh, vertical lines will sometimes represent an outage at your, at your hosting company or something like that. Um, but anyway, so you wanna see the line on the downward trend, not on the upward trend. And because that means you, your pages are loading faster, therefore Google's going to um, help your pages be found before they'll help a site whose pages aren't loading that fast be found. But it, it gives recommendations and some example pages. The thing that uh, caught my eye yesterday is these pages down here, I'm not going to show you the whole path, but these pages here are all behind robots.txt. So we said to the search engines, now you're not allowed to look at these pages, piss off. But Google is looking at them. Now these pages are not linked from anywhere, so one of the reasons that you might have a page that uh, Google spiders is because it's linked from somewhere else. But Google won't actually go and spider the whole page, it will just bring back the link if it finds a link to a link behind a robots.txt file. In this case, these pages haven't been linked from anywhere except maybe Gmail. Not that I'm suggesting that the Googlebot spiders Gmail, but we can't work it out. So that's what I was asking Matt Cutts about. And the other sort of disturbing thing about this is that um, Google has said that you know they will not index or spider pages that are listed in robots.txt. They may, you may, have, however, find that their links to them turn up in the Google index because. Google has found a link to them somewhere else. But we've got load times here against these pages that are behind the robots.txt. Now, as Joel, one of our developers, pointed out, is that if you've got load times, that means the bot would have had to download the entire page with all its assets, all its graphics and everything else. So the consequence of that, now I've, I've checked, unfortunately, these pages haven't been indexed. So Google has at least been um, true to its word there. But how it found these links, because these are uh, uh, pages that we don't want Google to find because they will unduly influence our authority on a particular topic because they add extra content. And it's content really, they're just mock-up pages for people and those sorts of things. And so we don't want the, the, the content associated with our site. Now we've since put them behind a, um, a, a, a passworded uh, locked up um, firewall but we shouldn't have to do that. I mean, because the content itself, we didn't care if anybody else saw it, but we just didn't want the search engines to see it. Search engines see it, haven't actually put it into the index, but the fact that, they, that Google is downloading those pages as indicated by these load times, uh, for me, is a little bit disturbing. And I haven't actually heard back from Matt Cutts yet, except he's just said here, I believe we can list pages without crawling them well, yes, you can list pages without crawling them, but the fact that you've got load times here means that you've downloaded the entire page. Um, fortunately, they're not in the index. Where this could um, be ugly for you is if uh, those pages did appear in the index and also um, uh, it can influence um, the whole authority of your site because you're adding all this extra content, which may not be relevant. Last week I brought you, brought you a story about uh, backlinks and how I was picking up a lot of backlinks simply from doing uh, blog posts using certain key phrases that were, were triggering people to automatically pick up links to those blog posts through sites like uh, amplify.com and paper.li and a few others. And then I had a look at Stuart Media's backlinks uh, this week and it's saying we now have 59,000, well, over 60,000. Last time I looked, we had about 2,000. 
Now, we haven't all of, all of a sudden magically picked up 57,000 or so links because to me, that would uh, send a massive alarm to Google that you're just on some sort of massive link building campaign and these links aren't real. But when I went and had a look at some of the, uh, some of the, the links that we had here, and I can just find one. Uh, one of them was, or a couple of them, were from forums that I'd posted on about, uh, well, five years ago. There you go. So uh, what's happening is that because Google Caffeine, I think, is so active now and is going out and finding all this extra content, it's actually finding a lot of old links. Now, I wouldn't get too excited about it if you've seen a massive jump in what uh, Google Webmaster Tools is reporting as far as your backlinks go because it'll be doing it to everybody. So, um, but if you haven't been uh, getting involved online and contributing online, uh, maybe now's the time to start doing it because Google is finding all those backlinks. And finally today, just a quick review of, uh, for uh, Adam Zamanik of Munro Boards. Uh, and I've done a quick look at the site, just a few things that stand out for me. Right? You, if you go to the site, we've got an auto load video over here. I'm not a big fan of those because, Hi, as we explained before, if you're on a mobile, it can be really annoying. And so many people being mobile now, you, you may not want that to happen. And the other thing is, is that if you do stick it up on YouTube, um, you're opening yourself up to another market. You may already have a YouTube channel, I'm not sure, but it's not embedded in here, and I would embed it. And the other thing, of course, with video is that... Um, it's going to slow down your page load time overall. The, that stuff I was just showing in Google Webmaster Tools, the assets are going to load slower. Um, and uh, of course, you've got Munro here at the beginning of the page title. If I'm, I'm guessing that's probably not one of your major search terms. I'm guessing it's mountain boards. And is it mountain boards with as, a, as one word or two words? I don't know. That's up to you. But I would put that more prominent in the page title. Also, when I went and did a quick search of Google for Munro boards, uh, I know you're a big fan of having multiple points of entry, Adam, and that's great. All I would say is here, I know you've got a lot of different sites dedicated to, to the mountain boarding, but I would um, just make sure that you're not duplicating content across these sites, and each site is unique in its own right. Um, and it's, it's fine to, to link this between the sites because each site could be catering for a slightly different niche, which is in, you know, in, in, entirely legitimate. Uh, but just make sure that you're not duplicating content between them because I was surprised that you didn't actually rank for mountain boards looking at the site, yet you rank for winner mountain board, which happens to be in your page title right at the end. And uh, maybe it, it isn't as a competitive phrase as, uh, as some of the other phrases you're trying to target there. Uh, but they're the basic um, tips that I, I would pick up. Uh, and also maybe just some, some links deeper into the site with your keywords in. There's none on the front page of that site. And that would be it. And that's it for this week's show. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully we'll get an answer from Matt Cuts on the, uh, the Google Webmaster Tool stuff. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.